Famous, famously difficult, and you played it very well. I, it just, we just need, um, s you know, more rehearsal, really. If I can, if I can do all the thing again, start over. I can yeah, you will start all over again. There you are. Do you want? Second time. Second time. Okay. <laughs> Elder run through. Right. Okay. So um, the. The first page, I mean, you know, accidents apart, I thought it was excellent. It, we still have things in the second lot. But let's, let's start again. So start at the beginning.
Okay, fantastic. I mean, uh, much, much better. It was good the first time. So can you remember to do these? Do those crescendos. Ram. Yes, and wait. Can you wait before you shoot up? That's a long. And uh, direct. So the quicker slide, da ya da, like that. Yes. So wait to take a. That's too slow. Wait. Yes. Now, jump to the second subject. Can you now, having played it once, can you now really join the orchestra? Okay, now, can you just do... And wait. Tarim Papa. Okay. And here. You have to dig out that. I know it's in the weak part of the bow. Just from the... From there. Okay, now do it. Now do it in a such way that you meet at the top. Yeah? Fine. Can you just keep, can you keep slightly more rhythm in? It's just rushing too much.
works that one. Good cut. Can you do last year? Can this have a li little line and dots? So play it like a real upbeat. Just ne start near the frog.
this two in a bar. Yeah, just go forward. Just go. I think you got da 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 di da. Papa, then you would have to ask the orchestra to go da da di da da di da. So you just go forward through the di da da di di. And try holding up only at the end of the bar rather than the half bay. So see how that works. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. So. Yeah, yeah. No, what's more, what's more? Da di a di. Sound, not vibrato. Sound. Can we try just one degree steadier for the coda? All right? Yep. Okay. Just go. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, it's ridiculous writing all of this for the piano. It's fantastic. <laughs> There's a whole symphony orchestra being played here. But I think this is more successful now. The... Can you make more sound? Because you can hear. Just give contact point. Just stay nearer the, the bridge when you get to the top. Okay? But I think that's more comfortable. Yeah? I think the, the successful codas is when you feel that the double basses are a bit too slow. You know, that pickup. Be too slow, 
and then you know you can have a bit of room to maneuver and particularly at the end all that ridiculous stuff you have to play there okay so can we do once more yeah just see when you get to the really those bits just see apart from the left hand make sure you make a lot of sound okay and pull more. Can you go just straight there? Da -da 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 -da. Just get there lighter. Yeah, wait, wait. This lighter shift. A, you're doing Just play and get out of the way. I mean, some people even cheat at their bottoms because it's, it's not heard. But I think you just need to aim. Aim for. OK? Yeah. You can more or less play in time. I don't think you need so much time on the bottom A. Play the whole thing steady, but get da 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 like that, OK? This is one of the rare places where I think a conductor comes in useful. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, uh, this is you know early 20th century where the, it really is helpful when you're playing this incredibly difficult coda to actually have somebody standing here and you can actually follow the conductor because if you're trying to listen like you would in a Mozart concerto or a Beethoven concerto to the orchestra and really play with them, y you really don't have the facility to do it. It's so difficult, this bit. You just have to concentrate, and yet you've somehow got to be with them. And th it's a really useful thing to have the person there, you know, marshalling the troops, but also giving the soloist a, a very clear help and it really works i mean you know i hate when conductors get in the way but this is probably where they don't so it was much easier then i was just sort of telling alexis just to steady but also you knew because you've got all these pickups which are all offbeat you know the first time it, 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 there wasn't a sense of structure of where you should arrive so we need to be very aware in this last bit that A, we've got to play impossibly difficult stuff, and B, it's a, you're part of a symphony. 
and it, it's, where, it's where it diverges enormously from a, something like a Paganini concerto where you can just, it's a free for all. You're just doing wonderful things, but the orchestral part is nothing. Just a few white notes, <laughs> you know, and you're just showing off and there's no, no sound really, it's just very light. This is huge, what, what comes out. So, you know, um, quite often this last bit has been drowned out with a soloist sort of thrashing away and you, the audience doesn't hear what they're doing. Okay, so um, it's terrific. Thank you very much. And uh, I want to say thank Alexis particularly for playing two orchestral bits, sorry about that. But it's very, very kind of you to give us the orchestra for this afternoon. So thank you all very much. <laughs>